Michael, it's maybe not your natural territory, but I bet you've got some good ones. Why don't cannibals eat clowns? I don't know. Because they taste funny. REM sold 85 million records. No. And parted as genially as if they just finished lunch. I thought I was a good pop star. I never thought I was a very good rock star. But but um, when I see a band performing and they're doing a great job, I had this conversation recently with Patti Smith. I just want to jump on stage. Uh, it's really fun to be up there, uh, doing a great job. But do I miss it? So yes, of course I do. Have you been? But I back did it for 32 years. I mean, we that's did a, a long great, we, slog. We did a great job, and we put out some. We left some great music, and what I what I consider to be, for the most part, a pretty, a pretty credible legacy. That's me in the spot, like my Stipe was an enigmatic performer, diffident and reluctant to be drawn on his private life. But he's been brooding about sexuality and more. The 21st century seems to have arrived uh, at somewhere that I arrived at as a teenager, so I'm really happy for that. It seems like um, the generations that have followed my generation, our generation, if I can be that bold, uh, have a much, have a much uh, kind of larger grasp on a world and a universe that isn't quite as binary as the one that you and I grew up in. Do you... Uh, and that, that goes yeah. beyond, actually, that goes beyond sexuality, that goes beyond, you know, it's just dividing things into good and evil or black and white is a really dumb way to kind of approach the world or a conversation or a debate or an argument or anything. And so if we have an understanding that within each of us are these like multiple um, contradictions uh, and we arrive at a higher place, which is humanity. Now Stipe's collaborated on a book of photographs, billed as his personal understanding of queerness. When everyone was watching me perform or, or write music or sing, I was taking pictures the whole time. And so this is a, 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 bit, of a, a bit of a diary of, of mine uh, of the past 40 years. Do you have any regrets that you weren't less ambiguous in the past? I don't know that what I had to say people were ready to hear quite yet, which was Again, addressing the, the more f a more fluid nature and, uh, to to sexuality, and now in 2018, gender assignment. We've now arrived at that, which I'm really happy for. Is that an unalloyed good thing? Do you think? I mean, there might be those who think it's great that people can be more honest about who they are, mm -hmm. but. Are we becoming preoccupied with what separates us from each other? That's a great question, and I'm, I mean, I think if we if we start kind of um, dividing ourselves into uh, what is the term that people use that's so abhorrent? <laughs> um, well, identity pol politics is that's fairly it. ugly Thank you. as a term. Yeah, it's then we're kind of shooting ourselves in the foot, or we're we're shooting into our own ranks. I think we have there's a lot more that we have in common with each other. Um, and I, I feel like that's where younger generations, their approach seems much more open and much more accepting. Don't let yourself go. REM and Stipe called it a day before social media became ubiquitous. He's used it, but not entirely happily. Everybody hurts. Politics have been shaped by it, certainly in my country. We have a commander in chief who, uh, rather than doing face to face interviews like this, would rather just tweet, uh, which I find repellent and, and diminishing. I'm leaving Instagram this week, in fact. I, I've had enough of it. I think that we deserve better. Um, and I, I feel like there might be um, a more generous platform to come along if enough people followed uh, in, in, my, in my footsteps. What have you got against Instagram, particularly? I don't like being tracked and followed. I don't like I don't like the idea that they're kind of keeping track of how I look at things and how much time I spend looking at things. I find that um, 
to be a, a huge breach of privacy, uh, which is an important issue for me. Are we all complicit to some extent? Of We've course, sort of, of course. We we agreed to, we we agree by clicking the agree button. Uh, but to take a step back and, and look at and acknowledge the way it's changing how people communicate with each other. If you're a leaver, look away now. It's not good. It, it, Brexit is not good. And, and uh, the sooner you guys wake up to that. I, I think a lot of people are awake to it. it just, you just need to fucking mobilize. You know, mobilize. Stop griping and get it together. We will take back control from Europe. That's the argument of those who espouse it. Do you agree with that? Do you, is there anything to that at all? A lot of people feel that very passionately. How do you feel? I'm being very BBC about you the whole point. You certainly are. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. You're allowed to be a pop star, an artist, and I suppose I'm allowed to be a journalist. Anything in the future in the way of re-recordings or reissues? I know you've done some of that since you called it a day, as it were. Yeah, there's some stuff that's coming up, but uh, that'll, that'll be announced shortly. Okay. Can't give us a little preview of that. You'll get it in a week. Okay. We'll be patient. <laughs> <laughs>